I remember saying some time back, a few years ago, that this whole police brutality, Black Lives Matter agenda will backfire on us, especially those of us of African American descent. What am I saying? Well, when Nancy Pelosi, when Maxine Waters, and other Democrats were backing the agenda uh, of the protesters who were violent, Kamala Harris bailing them out of jail uh, and doing what she did. They were inspiring these protesters and telling them that it was okay to break the law. It was okay to be violent. And now uh, this has developed in the mindset of many of our young people. And now they have lost respect for the authority. They have lost respect for police. You know, the Bible says that God has placed law enforcement here to, to uh, enforce uh, the law. The Bible says he bears not the sword in vain. But when we teach our children, it's okay to disrespect the law. It's okay to disrespect the police. Uh, it has bred a generation where the Bible says that there is no fear of God in their eyes. So they don't fear God and they don't fear lawful authority. Because of this agenda by these individuals, many of our young people have been killed because they have refused to comply with the instructions of the police and have gotten into altercations that they uh, otherwise would not have gotten into. So. What are we seeing now also? Police officers are being ambushed. The uh, all out war uh, it has been levied on uh, our police. There is no respect. And this is what the Bible says that the lawlessness and, uh, will abound. Uh, men will not uh, abide by the law. And uh, every man will do what is right in his own eyes. So ladies and gentlemen, we have a great problem in our society today and those of you who say that you are born again believers you should not be siding with these pro uh, black groups that are pushing violence that are advocating uh, uh, you know the racial uh, racial tension and pushing racial hatred as a believer you should stand upon the word of God and do what God's word says, not what man says, not what man would have you to believe. So, you know, we have a, a, a really uh, a tough battle in front of us, but we have to remain in Christ because only through him will we be able to overcome the evils that are coming and that has come upon our world and our society. Be blessed.